Numerical Differentiation in MATLAB. We're going to build on the last video and implement in MATLAB the numerical differentiation discussed there. So we have the same function with seven points and above is the entire MATLAB code for performing the numerical differentiation. Let's step through this one point at a time. So the very first point on the grid, this is at the edge. Remember, this got its own special finite difference because if we didn't do that, it would have required a value from outside of the grid, which does not exist. So we derived its own special finite difference that used values from only inside the grid. So this was the finite difference approximation that we derived. And here is its implementation in MATLAB. So you might want to go ahead, pause the video, look at those two back and forth until you see how that is really the same thing. Now on to the next point. Here we're at an interior point. We can use the standard finite difference approximation for a second order derivative that we've been using. So we're going to set up a loop that will go all the way across the grid, but notice it starts at array index two and ends at the second to last point. That's because we cannot apply this finite difference approximation to the end points because of the whole boundary condition problem. So right now, when we've just entered this loop, little nx is equal to two, and I'm recording that over here. And so with little nx two, the finite difference that we're calculating here, I've just written down here and put in the discrete numbers. But visually, here's our finite difference. Here's our offset points we would use to derive this finite difference. And this red sort of gray area showing the span of points we're using to calculate this finite difference, but it's calculating the second order derivative at the midpoint. Now the next iteration, little nx is three and that window moves over. We're now looking at F2, F3 and F4 to calculate the second order derivative at F3. And the loop keeps going. Now little nx is four, and we're using F3, F4, and F5 to calculate the second order derivative at X4. Now little nx is five, and we're using F4, F5, and F6 to calculate the second order derivative at X5. And the last point in our loop, little nx equals six, and we're using F5, F6, and F7 to calculate the second order derivative at X6. This is the last point we can use this ordinary or standard second order finite difference approximation. We can't apply that to this last point because we're going to need a point from outside. So we finish the loop and there's the last line of code where that last point gets its own special finite difference. Here's our offset points we use to derive that finite difference, and here's our finite difference approximation we apply to the last point. And I definitely recommend staring at this equation and looking at the MATLAB code and seeing how that's implemented. So in the end, it's very simple. We have one, two, three, four, five lines of code that would calculate a numerical derivative all the way across this grid, and it could have a thousand points, and it's still just these same lines of code. It's just that this big NX variable would equal 1000 in that case. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for watching this video. I love hearing your stories about how these videos helped you. I also love answering your questions. So please tell me your stories and ask your questions in the comment section. I promise I will try to answer every single question that's asked. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I also recommend visiting the official course website that has links to the latest versions of the notes, the latest videos, and there's lots of other resources to help you learn, including implementations in MATLAB. I'll see you in the next video.